Just improve your problem solving skills and you'll be able to pass all your coding interviews. Just solve some linked list questions over here and some tree questions over there, and then you'll be able to derive the edit distance algorithm yourself, just like this Soviet mathematician did in the 1960s. If that sounds ridiculous to you, it's because it is. Let me tell you a little secret. You're not supposed to figure it out yourself. Did you ever watch that episode of Naruto where the exam is intentionally designed to be so difficult that the only way to pass is to cheat? Well, that's the modern coding interview in a nutshell. Let me tell you what I mean. We all learned long multiplication as kids. We all memorized this algorithm. To get the product of these two numbers, first we take two times five, that's 10, the one is carried. Then we do two times five over here, that's 10 again. We remember we carried the one, so it's actually 11. We start all over with the three on the second row, but before we have the zero over here, and then we say three times five, that's 15. Then we say three times five once again, that's 15. So this becomes 16. Take these two, add them together, we get 1760. Now I know what you're thinking. This is just math. How is it relevant to leak code? But please just hear me out. Most people don't care enough to ask why does this work? They don't care enough to notice that this is the same as writing it out like this. But this is a hard problem. So let's make it easier. This is really just five plus 50. This is really just two plus 30. Expanding it out, taking two times this part, we get this. Taking 30 times this part, we get this. And this part over here, you can notice, is gonna be 10 plus 100. This part over here, I'm actually going to rewrite it. I'm going to make it even more simple. Why not? 30, that's too big. I'd rather have 10 times 3 and then multiply that by 5 plus 50. So now just focusing on this part over here, this is going to be equal to 15 plus 150. And so this becomes 110, which look, it looks pretty familiar over here. This becomes 165, which looks to me like we had that over here. And now it becomes clear why we add a zero over here, doesn't it? It becomes pretty clear because we just take the 10 out of the 30 over here. This isn't really three times these numbers. We just took a shortcut to make it simple for us. And then at the end, we'll add that 10. So just like now, I'm gonna add 10. I'm gonna add a zero here. This is 1650. And now this is just addition. I took multiplication and turned it into an addition problem. This is called problem solving. And now that I've gone through this, I have at least a chance of discovering long division on my own. Have you noticed that some people are naturally better at leak code or just learn faster than others? Well, usually those people come from another highly technical background like math, and they probably already built a lot of problem solving skills that can be applied to computer science. It makes sense why a mathematician would have an advantage over, say, a farmer, for example. So what can you do to give yourself an advantage? Don't focus on extremes. If you try to memorize solutions for every single problem, which is not easy by the way, you'll never be able to solve a new problem. If you never look at the solution for a problem, you'll spend 10 hours on a single problem and still won't be able to figure it out. In my opinion, there is an intersection between memorizing and problem solving. You need a little bit of both. If you're going to memorize anything, please, please memorize the DFS algorithm. It's the single most important algorithm in coding interviews. Memorize the core CS algorithms like binary search, the sliding window technique. And when you get super familiar with these core skills, you realize that most leak code problems are just about identifying which core algorithm to use and then applying it to the specific problem. In other words, in terms of coding interviews, problem solving is all about pattern recognition. 
a reasonable approach to coding interviews would be to first learn the core algorithms needed. It's fine to look at solutions. You're in the learning phase, just like an ML model, you're taking in training data. After that, you should try to apply your knowledge. If you were able to derive the solution to all these problems by yourself, it would greatly improve your problem solving skills. But that's obviously not realistic. But consider this, if you're trying to figure out the edit distance algorithm, you would have a much better chance of doing so if you first solved the longest common subsequence problem because it has significant overlap. And of course, that's not something you realize until you've actually solved these problems, which is kind of why I've organized them in this list. You don't have to have already solved the problems to make that connection. By the way, this is Neatcode.io. There's a ton of free resources on it, so check it out. If you want to support me and gain access to an ever-growing amount of content, you can do so by getting a pro membership. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.